time to dream big. As dreams help you do great things, large and small. Continue to learn, be curious, be open to others whose interests differ from yours. Read, learn something new every day. Take responsibility for your successes and your failures. Be resilient, learn from your mistakes and celebrate your accomplishments. Find your passion in life and do three things every day. Help someone less fortunate than you have a good day. Learn something new about yourself and celebrate the day. So you see, life's a journey meant to be lived, not endured. Love the journey and enjoy each step. Delight in the ordinary as well as the extraordinary and savor the simple and marvel at the complicated. Live rather than exist. As you sit together as a class for the very last time, I encourage you to focus on what you've learned and accomplished in and outside of school. Use this knowledge and experience to your advantage as it will continue to help you find the best path toward your next destination, wherever it may be. The world needs you, your talents and leadership, now more than ever. As you chart your course and make your commitments, remember the words of Oliver Wendell Holmes. Greatness is not in where we stand, but in the direction we're moving. And now, as my few words come to a close, I'd like to congratulate the class of 2009. I wish you a lifetime of good health, happiness, and the joy of learning. As you walk through your life, come back often and let us know the great things you've accomplished. Congratulations, class of 2009. And remember, once a Viking, always a Viking. Yeah. We will now be, after we hear from Dr. Morrow, which we just did, <laughs> we will hear from Gabby Jamison and Jeff Ambus. After Jeff, we will hear a quarrel selection entitled Bridge Over Troubled Water, sung by seniors Sage Russo and Chris MacArthur. And finally, our valedictorian speakers will be Catherine Moen and Hong Boy Vu. Jeff? <laughs> Reflecting on our four years of high school here, we realize that while everyone is unique and different in some way, we have also shared a common experience as well. Take, for instance, the penny. Pennies have been with us through thick and thin. For example, in freshman year, upperclassmen would throw pennies at us. We were all so in awe and scared of the new high school world, but at the same time, we were excited about the next four years of our lives. We would save up pennies so that we could use the bathroom passes to sneak out to the vending machine to get a mid-class snack. Or we would be casually looking through our bags and jingling through our pennies as we waited for the supervision to leave so that we could sneak off campus because we didn't have our lunch passes. They jingled in our pockets as we ran to class, only to miss the bell by a few seconds. As we walked to the TTW window, we cursed zero period under our breaths. And don't forget, when we pulled all those all-nighters, trying to cram for a test or finish a 10-page essay in a day, thanks to those pennies, we were able to buy Starbucks with extra shots of espresso to last us through the night. The next day, our friends would be busy throwing pennies at us in class to keep us awake. When announcements came on before tutorial, the sound in class would be equivalent to a penny dropping on the ground. Times a gazillion. Remember all those lunches we spent sitting by our friends, laughing and sharing everything that had happened that day? They were always willing to lend us as many pennies as we needed. And wow, think of all those pennies our parents had to pay for our texting bills for all those times we hid behind books and under desks so that we could text our friends in class. And if we weren't texting, we were doing homework from another class that was due the next period. <laughs> Even though the teachers would yell at us and nag at us and confiscate our homework and phones, we know that they were only trying to make us into better students. Therefore, we would like to give them our utmost thanks for doing their hardest to, to put up with us even when we were at our worst. Even though it may not seem like it at times, we really do appreciate all their hard work. Looking back on all these memories, we would not trade any one of them for an infinite amount of pennies. They have shaped us and made us who we are, and for that we are grateful. Throughout high school, we have learned that we can't rely on luck to get us through hard times, but it certainly helps. We have all encountered numerous pennies in our high school career. 
some heads up and full of luck, and some tails down, which we're not so lucky. As we leave here today, we hope that you will all find your pennies, heads up, and endure all those pennies that life throws at you guys down. We hope that you all find happiness in the life that you create for yourself. Congratulations, Class of 2009. Thank you, David, Ms. Coleman, Mrs. Henry, will you please join me? Will the class of 2009 please arise? Ms. Coleman, I present to you the class of 2009. They've met the graduation requirements of the Huntington Beach Union High School District, as well as met or exceeded the minimum requirements of the state of California as demonstrated on site, district, state, and nationally mandated tests. I present them to you with honor and pride that they may receive all rights and privileges granted them with diploma. Ms. Coleman. Thank you, Dr. Morrow. I accept this class of 2009 of Marina High School as having met all of the requirements you have stated. Mrs. Henry, on behalf of the Huntington Beach Union High School Diploma. Thank you, Mrs. Henry. Class of 2009, will you please be seated? We'll now present the diplomas. After receiving their diploma, each student will have their photo taken here on stage by chapel photography. Proofs will be mailed to you in two weeks. Will each row rise and proceed as directed by our dedicated staff of Marina High School? Kaylee Thomasek. I should have brought one of mine. Is it, is it, Amy Valdez. I bought one of those for the editing system. Dang. Yeah, I'm sorry, we, no. we didn't network very good. Let's plan for next week. Sabrina Savastano. <laughs> Save it, because that's your Carlos money, money shot. Carlos Carmona. Chantel Biggs. You're going to get me in the middle of that battery Owens. place. That, uh, Chris MacArthur. Martinez. Nick went here for four years. He probably Alexandra Grace Davis. <laughs> Vanessa Michelle Martinez. Maximilian Joseph. Alex Marie. Carissa Rocha. <laughs> Dylan Davies. Dung Win. Leticia Sienta. Katrina Nutt. Kevin Jackson. Kathleen Win. Juliana Itzel Nestor. John Paul Lichtenberger. Garrett John Elmer. Aaron Elizabeth Cuevas. Merlin Uriya Tapia. Pablo Contreras. Alec Rodriguez. Marco Frontantoni. Taylor Christine Parker Milligan. Victoria Lacey Anthony. Nicholas Shaw. Yeah. Jeffrey Aaron Espinosa de los Monteros. <laughs> Kirsten Lauren Moroni. He hasn't come up yet, though. He hasn't come 
Holly Slevko. Oh, okay. John Robert Sims. Pedro Mendoza Jr. Elizabeth Rose Ramos. Alexandra Sky McCollum. Austin McGrordy. Daniel Castaneda. Ryan Axel Elliott. Luz Cassina. Amber Tell. Brian Robert Spencer. Riley Stephen Tellers. Justin Quares. See that? How pretty that is? Jenny Brianna Roberts. Joshua Zachariah Ulrich. Thomas Roderson. Jared Merriman. Linda Tran. Ryan James Eric. Nicholas Hebert. Right. Those new shoes? What? Are those new shoes? Oh, yeah. I bought these. Should have worn your other ones. Riasat Azad. Christopher Twong. Texting her and saying when we're done, she's going to come meet us. It might be easier to have her come to us. <laughs> you think we can get through on the sidewalk all the way over? They have ropes over there. Yeah. Be, you go back that way is the best way to get out. of 2009, please rise. Woo! You may now turn your tassels to the left side, identifying you as a graduate. Woo! Now, will everyone rise with our graduates from the Marina Alma Mater, sung by the Viking Choir and accompanied by the Viking Band. And after the Alma Mater, I have to say one more thing before you throw your hats. Oh, <laughs> 
just give your parents a round of applause for getting you through these four years. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pride and honor that I now declare congratulations to the class of 2009. Have a great life, graduates.